Download this code and get free GPT-40 from CodeGive.com, link in the description below. Centering an element within a DIV is a common task in web development. There are several methods to achieve this using CSS depending on the layout and the type of element you're working with, block or inline. Below, I'll outline a few popular methods for centering both block and inline elements within a parent DIV. Hashtag 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 method 1, centering block elements with Flexbox. Flexbox is a powerful layout model that provides an efficient way to align and distribute space among items in a container. Hashtag 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 example. Hashtag 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 method 2, centering inline elements with text alignment. For inline or inline block elements, you can center them using the text align property. Hashtag 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 example. Hashtag 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 method 3, centering with grid layout. CSS grid layout is another modern approach to create complex layouts with ease, including centering elements. Hashtag 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 example. Hashtag 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 key points to remember. One flex box is great for one dimensional layouts, either row or column. Two text alignment is useful for inline elements. Three grid layout is best for two dimensional layouts and gives you more control over placement. Four always ensure the parent container has a defined height if you wish to center vertically, especially for full viewport height centering. Feel free to use the method that best fits your layout needs.